Hey everyone, so tonight I'm gonna show you what an 18 and one uh, fabric looks like on printed fabric. This is bullet. And as you can tell, we have um, 18 designs printed on one yard of fabric. That's why it's called 18 and one. So this design um, is not available um, to customers. This was a rep exclusive. Um, she does have several other 18 and ones, but I wanted to show you. I already have one cut out, so that's the one I'm going to be using. So this is what the fabric looks like, and let me measure out these um, rectangles. So they are six inches wide. And I would, let me get a longer ruler. Um, close to 19 and a half inches long. Each um, rectangle measures that. So all you would need to do is use your rotary cutter. Um, you can cut straight onto it or you can use a ruler align it and cut it or you can just use a pair of good scissors and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use these scissors and I am just going to cut at the bottom and this is probably going to, it doesn't take too long. I should have grabbed a better pair. And once I cut this one out, I'm going to show you um, some of the bows that I have already made with it. This is a lot faster if you do choose to use your rotary cutter. Okay, now that it's cut out, I'm just gonna set this one off to the side. I am gonna bring over the ones that I have already completed. So out of these, um, this 18 in one design, I have already made a few bows. These are the ones that I have already made. And I went ahead and made them six inches wide. So I'm going to do um, one with you. So I have this six inch board from a &L Display and it has this slit in this middle. And I am going to use a um, needle and thread. So all I do is I grab my strip that I cut out. Just put it on your board. This is just the way I do it. You do it however you know um, what's best. So now I'm just going to be sewing right here in the middle.
I'm going to slide it just a tad bit so I can get the top pull all of my thread through I'm going to wrap it I'm going to knot mine in the back And at this time, you would either add your clip or your nylon band, whichever one you prefer. And I'm not going to add anything to this one just because I don't like adding um, anything until a customer um, orders. So for right now, just for the purpose of the video and for a photo, I am going to grab this strand, bring it over to the front just like this. back down I'm gonna fold this in and then I am going to loop it in the little slot or pull it through the little slot So just make any adjustments if needed, pull um, your strand in the back more if you want it tighter, if you want a tighter knot, and that's it. So then you get 18 bows out of one yard, that's why it's called 18 and 1. And as you can tell, I have a couple of more bows that I need to make. And this is what the other ones look like. And this design um, was bought from Ever After, or not this design, because this is a rep exclusive, but eight, you can purchase other 18 and ones from Ever After Designs, and you can use the code Chrissy2020 for a discount. Um, she does have a drop tonight. Um, that also goes with a um a printer's um she's having like a she's collabing with a printer and they're gonna have like a discount code for you at the end and um, this fabric right here was printed with um Lubbock custom and i will put that information in the description and i'll also add the code for the ever after designs website just in case you need it. But this is how you use the 18 in one. If y'all have any questions, just feel free to comment below. And these bows are six by six, so they are pretty big. Thank you for watching.